Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to help you in fixing the network connectivity issue. Okay. Uh, in the newly installed Windows 10 virtual machine. Okay. That you're hosting particularly on VMware Workstation Pro uh, software. So let's quickly begin guys. Let me do a full screen and you can see here what I'm talking about. The internet icon just says not connected no connections are available however it's not true i have my wi-fi connection active as well as i have uh, my default gateway which is my router it's up and running all right so let me quickly go back out of the full screen mode and show you something over here so let's do a quick search right click let's right click on the uh, windows 10 active tab let's go to network adapter over here right so this is what i was talking about guys there are a couple of modes available over here under network connection bridged if we change to bridged it means the ip will be reserved okay from your uh, local area network okay so the ip will be uh, a private ip that will contain the series 192 from the series 192.168.0.100 and above series okay however if you are selecting nat it will be your ip address will be randomized and you will become an anonymized user that is default okay which is selected by default uh, during the installation during the course of the installation of the virtual machine post which it gets selected as NAT we need to ensure one thing over here why the network is not currently not connected we just have to open the network and internet settings okay let's click on troubleshoot guys let's see what's the problem so plug an ethernet cable into the network adapter check to see let's say check to see if the problem is fixed it will auto it will try auto resolving the problems if it's not able to resolve then probably uh, you need to try and look into other steps so currently it says ethernet cable is not properly plugged in or might be broken so this is not the case guys since this is a virtual machine it's it does not have an idea about your uh, uh, ethernet interface okay just giving a random suggestion so let's first close the troubleshooter what we will do is try going to change network adapter and just try something over here rather what i will do is i will just go and power off the guest just now uh, by right clicking i'm just going to power off this virtual machine just now and what i'm just going to do is right click settings network adapter what i'm just going to do is just select bridged and just say okay to this and after which what i'm going to do is i'm just going to try powering off the powering on the virtual machine and see if that resolves the issue I changed the uh, network adapter mode to bridge guys and I have just rebooted the virtual machine and I am on my login page where I have put in my password and hit enter it's taking a bit of time to get into the desktop menu so guys uh, I'm still not able to see my virtual machine getting connected to internet just now i'm just going to open the network 
and sharing center once again and I'll just click on this Ethernet connection over here I think that has connected so you, what I will see what I'm seeing just now is guys do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable and we recommend allowing this on your home and work network guys just going to say yes to this and see if that fixes the problem yeah there you go guys now I have the internet access alright so that has fixed my problem what I did I just opened the network and sharing center and I just clicked on this ethernet over here this ethernet option over here automatically I received a pop-up and I just said yes to it basically the my PC with that yes with that with me saying yes to that pop-up which meant uh, the network discovery for my uh, for this particular virtual machine was enabled by answering yes to that pop-up and that has fixed the internet connectivity issue guys okay but and let me quickly get on to my command prompt wizard and I'm just going to type IP config and as you can see guys the IP address is 192.168.0.13 which is a private IP assigned within my uh, that is local to my local area network it is native to my local area network all right and when we say this IP address right in the series 192.168.0.103 basically these are private IP ranges which is called as RFC 1918 series of IP addresses that is usually uh, called for any IP address that falls within the private IP ranges category all right so that's a piece of info I wanted to give and then it's important guys you install tools over here okay there is a pop-up that comes install tools which is nothing but it is going to install vmware tools that is pivotal for your uh, virtual machines if you're hosting it on vmware workstation uh, software okay and i think i have already installed the vmware tools guys you just have to do it by going to vm tab just say install vmware tools okay i think it's currently in progress and i think uh, you just have to run the setup.exe file over here say s yes to this pop-up that's going to install vmware product related tools for your virtual machine all right and one more thing i wanted to uh, give as a for your info is that I'm just going to install this VMware tools just now right let's wait for the VMware tools to complete the installation to complete so the steps that I'm going to share is just going to be for your information okay in case if the network connectivity issue does not go away even after the steps that I have demonstrated in this video you can try that steps that will also uh, help you in resolving the network connectivity issue uh, of your virtual machine okay so that has completed you must restart your system for the configuration yeah let me do a quick restart of my virtual machine and whilst this restarts let me show you one thing guys on another uh, thing that you can do to resolve the network connectivity issue okay after you have installed your virtual machine successfully what you need to do is just go to edit option on top left corner just say virtual network editor okay so what you need to do is your mode right your uh, your adapter okay the virtual machine network you can edit the network properties okay what you need to do is just select the first one and say change settings say s yes to this pop-up just wait for some time 
think it has opened up here and here what you need to do is you need to select the mode of your uh, network adapter okay like I said previously I showed you how to change it from here locally within the virtual machine by right clicking going on to settings tab and selecting network adapter and you choose you change from NAT to bridged and once you do that you need to in ensure that here as well that's reflected okay basically it's reflected over here okay my uh, VM network it, uh, interface settings shows up as bridged over here however in some cases this may, this may still be as NAT over here as default and hence the network uh, connectivity issue could be uh, present okay basically you need to switch to bridged over here too okay and then say apply to the setting and go uh, and say okay and after which your network connectivity issue will get resolved okay this is a rare case scenario I am talking about okay by just changing over here by going right clicking on the uh, virtual machine virtual machine tab here and just going on to network adapter and switching it to bridged over here itself is going to resolve your network connectivity issue but sometimes after you have switched over to bridged here in virtual network editor the settings right it will still be in NAT mode hence what you need to do is you need to change it to bridged coming over here too all right and then what you need to do is after you change it make sure you select automatic or you can just select any interface over here uh, you can make it to Intel that should be fine too uh, or you make it automatic okay it is going to pick up any of the adapter that is available locally on your computer and just say apply to it after which your network connectivity issue should be resolved all right and also you need to make sure you use the network uh, and sharing center right after you open the network in uh, network sharing center you have the network troubleshooter that will first that will be the first step to fix the network uh, connectivity issue it will automatically resolve any issues that is that it is foreseeing and that needs to be addressed it will be able to resolve and other than that if it is not able to fix the issue you can follow the rest of the steps uh, that I have shown you early on the earlier part of this video okay and I hope all these steps will help you in resolving your network connectivity issue and uh, with this I will just end this video here and hopefully I hope this video turned helpful to you okay and if you like this video please hit the upload button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful content like this uh, with regards to computer okay thank you and have a wonderful day